Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to Beltless Factorio, where last time we finally managed to build a factory for flying rover frames. But today we will once again turn our attention to our base and do improvements. Um, Trains not moving, not that good. But if we look uh, where we actually, okay, we can have a look at production. And there we see currently we are just squeezing out uh, a bit more engines than we are using if we look at it over the course of an hour how are we looking there there we are about even how about plastic uh, plastic is lagging behind is this just yeah in the last 10 minutes we did not even have anything for plastic that might be because up here everything seems to be blocked how can that happen okay let's try to to fix that and Okay, that seemed to have helped. Where do you want to go? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we seem to have some rails there that do not belong there. Oh, that one is out of the way. That means the ones from on top can move on. And probably it's not that great an idea that we only have two rails going up and down, especially two rails that have uh, uh, rails going off and on from there. Uh, then let's have a look at uh, our plastic plant. Down here we are full of plastic, but up here we're empty of coal. And we have a similar situation there. So apparently we have a train incoming there. At least that's good. Um, and let's have another look here. How are we looking? Copper. Copper is looking great. We are consuming a pretty low amount uh, steel we are good uh, now we have 
have once again uh, plastic. So maybe if we look at uh, at engines, engines, we need. Where is our engine plant? It's in here. So for this one we need engine, but also for the blue science pack. And on here we're waiting. Actually we have two trains waiting for engines. Um, and we do not have enough materials. None of the of the factories assemblers are working. We only have a one train that is delivering. So maybe let's add a second train there. Um, and maybe we can also uh, remove this up here. And we will need to move everything a bit up. So that's maybe uh, something for later. But let's first find a spot where we can uh, add that additional train for the engine uh, right we need a bit more coal I have that stash away here and then I need to fill up the car again then where is the train for the delivery sitting there at steel loading yeah so let's copy that to this one and then let's go Then I will get some more uh, coal and uh, restructure that uh, uh, sulfuric acid plant um, so that we can fix that square at, at the least. Some things are fixed now, so let's have another look at our productivity on a 10 minute scale base. Uh, let's check plastics. Yeah, I think we need uh, more there. Yeah, it's going down again. And I imagine part of the problem is actually that it is up here and potentially is this the uh, called everyone what Oh, because on both of these we are because basically we have three station that 
could pick up plastic um, and only uh, this one actually it should be that way we want to limit the train numbers not uh, the control so well plastic is not great it's somewhat weird um, green circuits we are producing way less than we are uh, consuming but I would guess that's a similar situation because we can uh, produce the, the required amounts there. And steel, steel, we are looking good. Um, engines. Uh, the the consumption is 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 pretty constant here but the production is always lacking behind so i am thinking maybe we should add uh shall we make it like this Or should we set it up that way? We do have some some squares that are empty in here, uh, but maybe if we manage to expand outwards, um, we could then at some point combine these. So let's see where would we be this would be a square and this would be a square this would be a square this would be a square so basically down here we would have a square um like that yep that works yeah okay then let's put that in and then we can copy this set up from up here Let's also have a quick check on uh, power, just to see, uh, do we need any additional solar panels? I don't think so, because now we have the, the peak. Um, probably we do not even uh, use all the potential of our solar arrays. Uh, for the power that we need so um, I will probably need a few more rails um, to get down there and then put in uh, a factory uh, but I think without the without the solar panels don't need that not at the moment and hopefully once we uh, can get a bit more uh, research going we might be able to uh, transition toward uh, nuclear power right here we are everything done down here i also added another train for the delivery 
Uh, but looking at this setup here, might be that we have a deadlock. This train cannot leave because no stations ready for delivery. So maybe we should have another uh, waiting bay area. So let's actually copy this one down here. The most recent one. And um, if we do it this way, that would probably work out okay. Um, and we just have, oh, no, 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 no. This way. We need to have a roundabout there. This one, I think, we can straighten up because on that side the right side we want to have um, we want to have uh, a 4x4 four four, uh, set and let's rename those stations here, not that we um, actually plastic might be better up here, batteries as well. And maybe even uh, the engines. Ah. We, why does this not line up here? Ah, because I rotated it. That's probably. Then in that case, let's copy that one from over there. Having a uh, One, this one that uh, should match better. And over here, don't need that. We still need to reset. Uh, these we will just add them as uh, numbers and we might even move plastic up here and move engine down there because then the waiting bay is closer to where the goods are produced and five. All right. And this one we don't need. So let's get rid of all this. Out of rail, out of signals. That can be solved. And then of course need to place in the uh, roundabouts. And apparently more trains out of fuel. 
Now then, looking at where our delivery trains are, we see all three are currently loading iron uh, steel plates, um, which indicates to me we are just not producing steel fast enough. So maybe it's time to uh, put this monstrosity in place and that should uh, help with with that because I imagine uh, these kind of setups uh, they can produce quite a bit of uh, of uh, steel and apparently we are saturated on the uh, low density uh, structures so maybe let's add a waiting bay uh, for low density delivery right and then have the trains go to go to there waiting low density delivery there that's the first one the other uh, five will follow so we will figure this out in due time and hopefully uh, because this is the end of this episode hopefully next time we manage to get some other things done than just tweaking um, what we already have put in place so nevertheless i hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, also tune in for the next one until then goodbye